Now for benchmarking, I've actually added another four gig, so eight gig in total running in dual kit channel. I think in the introduction video I said this machine's got four gig, so I've just added some uh, extra RAM. Now as with all my videos, to give these lower spec machines a fighting chance, um, I'm recording on an external camera so the image quality is obviously not going to be as good as what I can actually see in front of me. Some games like Fortnite have their own internal um, FPS counter so I won't be running Bandicam for those but in a lot of cases you'll see you should see in the top left the Bandicam frames per second. The only exception to that from what I can think is CSGO, Counter-Strike, Global Offensive. For some reason I can't get Bandicam to display the uh, counter and I think that must be down to the resolution. Now all these games, in the majority of cases I set the quality settings to the lowest possible but not all of them. For example Crisis, that's, that's, that's got the settings on medium and also lower the graphical resolution as well. Okay, so I ran a couple of graphical benchmarks. The first one is Heaven, and overall we're getting a score of 511. Now moving on to Valley, the score is 639. Both I ran on low quality but the maximum resolution which is 1920 by 1080. Okay so let's start up some games and just see how this machine performs. This is CSGO Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now it's not really that um, taxing on the system but I've put this down um, to uh, second lowest graphical resolution and everything else is on low. But it looks alright to me. Um, now, can't actually see the Bandicam frames per second counter, so you'll have to take it from me that uh, this looks okay and its frame rate looks pretty decent. So yeah, Counter Strike is, uh, is more than playable on this machine. this is the original crisis now I haven't actually got this on the lowest quality settings I've got it all the settings set to medium so if you really want a higher frame rate then just nudge those settings down to low now this is the original crisis um, with the very latest patch applied and I think as long as you get above 30 frames per second which is what we're getting at the moment with not a lot going on and get some of these characters going then uh, then you're doing well now I'm not sure if this machine will run crisis remastered it probably won't but that's really just graphical enhancements so yeah it's even nudging 40 which is uh, just fine okay so that's crisis okay this is Fortnite, and there's quite a few in-game settings in this and at the moment I'm run running it in a render mode called performance which is in beta at the moment and we get in I think as long as you get above 30 frames per second in this it's going to be more than fine um, as I move into the open it dips to 30 and above um, there's not that many characters on the screen at the moment but that's going to drop I should think but yeah, as long as you get above 30, that's uh, that's fine. Okay, so that's Fortnite. This is another free game on Steam called Heroes and Generals. Now once again, there's a lot of in-game settings on here to get the... Uh, <clears throat> reduce the resolution also the quality 
and um, I've got this on medium quality um, with a reasonable resolution and I'm getting hovering almost 30 frames per second which is as I've explained if you can get that in a game like this then uh, that's that's uh, fine uh, this is just a bot game but they have got characters on the screen at the moment and um, it's nudging 30 I suppose I could drop the quality down to minimum and uh, get uh, 40 and above okay so that's heroes and generals now this is Rocket League now there's a lot of in-game settings um, in this one so it's just a matter of finding a good balance but if you can get 30 frames per second um, that's fine um, graphical quality is not so important in the uh, in esports, but um, at the moment uh, it's nudging 30 frames per second, which is okay. Okay, so that's uh, Rocket League. And this is another free game on Steam called Paladins. Now I've uh, upped the quality to medium, and the resolution is on the maximum, so I think. From the looks of it, this is uh, you probably nudge those settings up a touch more. Um, again, I can't get Bandicam to display the frames per second, but this is look looking uh, more than good enough um, at the moment. So, uh, so yeah, probably probably up the uh, up the quality on this game to uh, high, I would think. Okay, so that's. Paladins. This is another free game on Steam called Rogue Company. I've got all the settings on to low but not the resolution or the resolution scale so it's not looking too bad. Um, again I can't get Bandicam to display the frames per second counter but um, it's uh, not looking too bad actually and so I would have think this uh, this game is more than uh, playable enough even with a few characters on the screen okay so that's Rogue Company well, these freebie games on Steam are coming thick and fast this is um, a game called Team Fortress 2. Now it's not that taxing on system, so I've got it on maximum resolution. Um, and some of the preset settings are on high, but I'm sure I can get those uh, up a bit without compromising the frame counter. But saying that though, um, it's on 40 frames and above so so that's not too bad if you want more then uh, just uh, just those settings a bit more okay so that's uh, team fortress 2 and this is valorant now it seems like uh, all the game servers are quite busy at the moment so I've had to go into this uh, mini practice game um, I've got it on the highest resolution but most of the uh, other settings are set to low and I'm getting 50 above 50 frames a second sometimes pushing 60 so I suppose you can have a, a look at those uh, settings and uh, adjust them accordingly if you want to see a better better quality um, I suppose in uh, actual live gameplay that um, that counter value is going to go down but not by much I would imagine it's not really a taxing game on the system okay so that's uh, Valorant
Right, this is Apex Legends. Um, now I thought I'd show you this because I, want ex I wasn't expecting this to be that playable. And I'm afraid I was right. Um, I mean indoors with no other characters in view. And there's also a few graphical glitches. I'm only, I'm not even getting 20 frames per second. So if you can live with that, which really uh, I couldn't, to be honest. I mean, this is on the lowest possible settings, resolution and um, quality settings. And going outdoors, it's just scraping above 15 frames per second. But I thought I'd show you anyway in case you was wondering if this was actually playable or not. Okay, so that's Apex Legends. Okay, just to sum up then, I've run a few games uh, on this machine, which has got 8 gig of RAM, it's got an Intel i5 4440 CPU and HD Intel 4600 graphics, Windows 10 and fully up to date. So what I can recommend is make sure if you've got a similar machine is uh, have a solid state drive uh, apply all the updates and with the majority of games just set the resolution as low as possible and the graphical quality settings as low as possible and work your way up from there until you find uh, settings that you're comfortable with. Some games like Apex Legends just won't, uh, won't be a decent experience. I mean they'll work but the frame rate's just so low and they won't look that great anyway. Uh, the one drawback with this Acer machine is you can't fit a graphics card in it, so you'd have to make do with the uh, Intel HD graphics. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you've got uh, any similar spec builds, let me know if there's a particular game you want me to benchmark.